Hey there, it's Crafty Jennabog. So, I hit 2,000 subscribers, so as promised, I'm going to give you a tour of the craft room. Are you ready? It's chaotic. I've actually been cleaning up a little bit and organizing a bit in there this week, but it is still quite chaotic. Uh, that's just, I operate in a sort of organized chaos, so let's get to it. All right, the door. Firstly, you will notice a bunch of paint pours that I have made. Lots of paint pours. And the chaos. This room used to be a garage before we lived here. This was a garage and has been converted into a bedroom. And yeah, so let's see. We've got this is various craft stuff, book, books, and oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. We've, okay. So over here on this shelf is a variety of craft things, various storage that isn't used, cricket, vinyl, some random things. Here we've got books that I've either purchased at thrift stores or found on the side of the road, had been rained on, and I didn't have any qualms about ripping them up for um, book pages for junk journaling. We've got some instant coffee, my blow dryer, some aluminum foil and wax paper. This container has various types of uh, mesh ribbon, some embroidery floss. Here we have junk mail and other things that are used for junk journaling. Some packaging, some things I've created that I wanted to have on hand for if I just needed something to put in a journal real quick or was inspired by. Here we have scraps paper scraps, um, a lot of cardstock, larger pieces, maybe like a full size eight by 10 sheet that I cut down smaller, um, but I didn't want to get rid of because it's still good. Here, same, these are just sm smaller scraps. Bin full of washi tape, lots and lots of washi tape. Metal things that I find on walks and just collect. Chipboard pieces, there are stickers in these boxes. Collection of napkins, mostly purchased from the Dollar Tree. Here we have ribbon, fabric findings and things like that, more ribbon, label maker, rotary cutter, etc. In here, paint pens, Various palettes, um, these are pastels, I believe, crayon sticks, water crayon sticks, pastels, watercolor pencils, ink pads, stamps, the, class, the clear cling stamps. Down here I've got some random folders, a kit for creating crochet creatures. This is, um, uh, what's that, silica gel. Actually, I have dried flowers in there I need to check on. <laughs> this is a variety of dyed paper and 8x10 cardstock. Magazines for collages and junk journaling. Gotta move the cat bed. Yeah. She's not in it. Colored glue sticks and glue guns. This one has sequins. Shipping. Is that sequins? Yes, various sequins and confetti. Shipping scale in case I ever decide to ship anything. Paper doilies. Bunch of resin things I made. And this is full of, um, it's a Martha Stewart loom kit for like making hats and things like that. Yarn, stuff for yarn. 
Over here I have die cuts. I had a die cut machine, but unfortunately it died. And then, over here, this is my daughter's chaos, her craft chaos. Craft kits that she has yet to put together. That That's all her. That is her space she can do with as she pleases. Her desk, I found that at a thrift store recently. Ooh, my tea. Um, let's see. Let's just go around the room, I guess. <laughs> In here, I have yarn overflow that doesn't fit in the other ones. I have resin molds in those two bottom drawers. This is more scraps. These are the 12 by 12 pieces that wouldn't fit up on the shelf in that other bin um, and some doilies that I dyed. Just the 12 by 12 sheets that I've cut a little bit off of and things like that. Over here on, here we have my desk. It is quite chaotic. This is my scrap box. If, <clears throat> excuse me, this is my bigger scrap box. Things, random. If I have bigger pieces of things, I often stick them in here just so I can dig through it whenever I am trying to, you know, come up with something. For my current junk journal series, I have a different scrap box that I've been using specifically for that. But at the beginning of each month, I dig through this and the other scrap containers to find scraps that would work with the color theme. To find scraps that would work with the color scheme of the journal I I'm currently working on. Cheap watercolor paints, some pre-made or some homemade stencils and things. Coming around here, see if I can back up enough. <laughs> More chaos. In here, in this bin here, is a collection of all of the things I have gathered for the current journal that I'm working on. Um, just various things, stickers, um, things I have typed up and printed out, pic images that I've printed out that may be useful. Things like that. Pictures I took. All sorts of things. Dyed papers. What have you. The prompt jars sit right here. Always waiting to be used. Underneath there says it's paint pens. But it's actually um, colored pencils. Down there is just a stack of notebooks. Don't really have any use for. And I don't have enough shelf space in here. The current journal. Sitting in the bin of things that I have selected, smaller things that wouldn't, wouldn't fit in there. Things that I want to use, little scrap papers, there's ephemera I've already made that I might use, and then some stamps that I've pulled out to use in the journal. Oh, I got some butterflies. Stick that in there. Put that journal back where it goes. These are tags of various sizes. In here I have die cuts and little um, word things. And um, small pieces of ephemera are in here so I can dig through them when I'm trying to decorate a page. My sewing box, sewing machine, piece of graph paper from when I made the, um, let's turn that light on, how about that, now you can see a little better. Over here, more chaos, can you imagine? Various glues, tools, I have this fun um, holder for my Distress Oxide inks, Distress, permanent Distress ink pad. Other stamps. These are all rubber stamps or homemade stamps. We've got buttons. We've got rusty metal things. We've got thread. If you see me pulling thread out of a jar, that's the jar. 
various things, more homemade stamps, the Tim Holtz Snippet Ephemera Pack. Turn this light on too so you can see a little better. Flower stickers, more stickers, washi tape stickers, and a tea bag. I'm not going to go into what all of this is over here because it's just various things that I might need at some point. Adhesive dots, glazed paste, all sorts of things. Up here is my little thing full of Cricut tools and some sandpaper. Mod Podge, UV resin, matte gel, all sorts of things back there. Like I said, my desk is chaotic. Over here I've got Yes Paste, Gesso, um, white and black acrylic paints, mostly because they wouldn't fit on the thing I have holding my acrylic paints. Scissors, this has my clips in it. Um, this has all kinds of random stuff in it. Um, big old tub of purple glitter. Yep, you never know when you might need big old tub of purple glitter. Or mica powder. I'm sorry, that's mica powder. We have various pens and markers, highlighters, various tools, matte gel, glue sticks, mica powder, or these are glitters, I'm sorry. These are glitters. More glitters and mica powder. Googly eyes. Never can have too many googly eyes, right? Over here we have embossing supplies, distress oxide sprays, rulers and tester paints and other um, mediums, stapler, double-sided tape, paper clips mostly, and some, is that glitter? Or is that more mica powder? That's more mica powder. Glue gun, alcohol markers, various random things, another light should I need it, spikes and that is fabric paint. Oh, you can't see my arms tossing a shadow. Fabric paint. Sequin, or not sequins, these are rhinestones. This was a um, spice canister. You know, these were spice, these used to hold spices and I cleaned them out. And this one is full of rocks. My handy dandy heat gun, alcohol inks, Water spray, alcohol spray, mica spray. Oh, forgot I had that tacky glue upside down. A couple of tools, some fabric fusion. My Cricut sitting over here in the corner with a uh, plug or, uh, thingy on top of it. Because I don't have enough space. Oh, you can't see. Can I turn this one on? That's better. I've got acrylic paints and some mediums on the top. Painting I've been working on forever. Acrylic paints, my Cricut uh, mats are hanging up here. More acrylic paint. Some cross stitch friend of mine did. Um, next, let's go with what's under the desk. So, under here, we have stencils in this. This is all full of stencils. Down here we have soap making supplies. Um, yeah, that's all soap making supplies from when I was doing a lot of that. This is all cross stitch supplies, patterns, embroidery stuff. An embroidery kit I haven't done yet. It's an elephant. Lots of embroidery and cross stitch stuff in here. Up here we've got fabrics. That's not all of the fabric I have. That's just what I had in a small bin that needed a home. Over here, down here we have... Move some of this out of the way. There, in my craft room there's lots of moving stuff to get to other stuff. Why are you both coming out? I don't want both of you out. This is full of... Uh, like edger. Where are you both coming? From? There we go. This bottom drawer is full of um, punches for edging. Uh, 
Okay, come on. This one is full of other punches. These are all corner punches, tab punch, corner rounders, little punches in the back, various other punches over here. This top one has my paper cutter, my tab punch board, and various shapes of punches and craft scissors. More chaos under there. We're not going to get into that. That's just the holder for my sewing machine. This is my current scrap box I just pull out of whenever I'm working in this journal. Various other things. This is full of yarn. Kind of categorized, but not really. This box is full of eyelet setting stuff and rhinestones. This is full of various different things, um, mostly like die cuts, and I have like words and phrases, die cuts, small tags, random things. I've got one full of stamps, you name it. Over here, these are more, this is more yarn. <laughs> this is full of small balls of mandala yarn and small things that I've made. This is eyelash yarn and funky yarn that has no other category. These are scrap balls of acrylic yarn. More yarn. This is all my mandala and various other yarns, mostly cake style yarns. Here we have lots more yarn of various types. Same down here. Here <laughs> we have white copy paper, construction paper. More yarn overflow. More yarn overflow. And then, and then over here. So that's where the cat likes to hang out. She hangs out up there or she sits right here. That's also a stack of magazines. Yeah, she sits right here and yells at me while I craft. So usually if I'm working here, she's right here yelling at me. Her little kitty tower where she sleeps. And we've got various embroidery, floss, spools, paper, a resin studio kit I have yet to use. But when I do, it will be a video. Let me um, set this down. All right, I moved the gift wrap container. Over here, I've got cups, the pouring medium for the paint pours, laminator, resin, it's right there, gloves for using the resin, very important. Um, what is that? Various fabric medium stuff in here. This is buttons, all just full of buttons little scraps of paper, little pads of paper. Um, these are dried flowers that can't lie flat. The lie flat <laughs> storage for dried materials. Oh, my April journal's just chilling right there. Some watercolor paper, some craft stuff for my daughter. This is all stickers, scrapbook stuff that I've been working on for a long time. That's all coloring books. For my daughter that's all scrapbook paper 12 by 12 pads and single sheets of scrapbook paper hiding behind some canvases that are waiting to be well one was used one is two are waiting to be used <sighs> i'm getting winded y'all up here lord of the rings puzzle hemp supplies 
all sorts of craft stuff. I don't uh, I don't even know what all's up there, honestly. Here I have a container full of hemp, resin stuff that has been no, this is a resin flashing. That's like the the scraps left over when you pour resin on something, you peel it off. The March journal hanging out up there. A drying rack for things. Um, slime and old projects over here. Um, that's kids slime making stuff. Sequins. Project that we started and never finished. This is a big container full of glitter with some fake flowers on top. And my respirator. Actually, I could hang my respirator. This is a new addition for hanging our, uh, our aprons. Tempera paint, pipettes, business cards, 3D pens. This is just an absolute chaotic mess that I rarely ever mess with. Ooh, feathers I forgot I had. Books, more books. And then under, these are books that I read and love. Um, and down here I have containers full of beads. That whole shelf is full of beads. Here I have a paper mache project my daughter and I started years ago. Extra storage, a pot for making dyes and inks and, you know, like craft stuff. It's a craft pot. In here I have a bunch of eyelets and letter, paper letters and brads my tripod. That's what my camera is usually on. Trash can, very important. Some stepping stone mix, blank canvases. These two binders are ATC cards that I was given by someone who used to collect them. Lace and ribbons and such in that. That's Cricut supplies. Back behind there, these are all rubber stamps of various kinds. So uh, I pulled out of here all of those rubber stamps because I didn't want to dig through this every time I thought I might want to stamp. These are various things that have been made. This is all of my Defemerember ephemera that I pull from as I'm making. You can see I'm almost done with all of that. This, this is crazy. So these are holiday boxes, holiday storage stuff back behind he, all of this. Um, you know, like Christmas tree, Christmas lights for the house, um, different things that go out in the yard. I haven't put them in the attic because they're heavy and the attic access is there and it's a pain. It's really a pain. So it's become my impromptu drying rack. So anytime I need to dry something, I put it on a tray and stack. I put it on a tray and stack it up here. There are more paintings, and this actually is something I made like a decade ago, maybe even longer. It's words. The lyrics to Where Is My Mind, hence the head on the ground and the feet in the air and the brain with the fish. Yeah, that's uh, that's the lyrics to, to the song, <laughs> but uh, anywho, we got some dried flowers sitting there need, waiting to be put in to uh, wherever they're going to go. Same with these two books are dried flowers. Needing assistance. Let's back up a little bit. My husband's art portfolio from forever, from college. That's acrylic paints of his as well. More storage. Old projects. Works in progress. That's the place they go to, um, to time out. Packing supplies. Mostly packing paper from, um, various shipments and things like that. And this is pretty much my 
garage corner. We've got our paper towel storage, our air filters. That's all polyfill up there. Wrapping paper, um, various plant stuff, a pool float blanket I worked on recently. Um, that is full of lace scraps and lace pieces and fabric that I received from somebody who was throwing it out in my neighborhood. Clothing storage for my kid who grows way too fast. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So, turn this on myself. All right, there you have it. That is my chaotic craft room. It makes sense to me, I promise. I hope nobody got any sort of like motion sickness. I tried not to move too much, tried not to shake, but you know, there's only so much I can do when I'm holding a heavy camera with my hand. So thank you again for helping me reach this milestone of 2000 subscribers. I'm stoked. You guys make me so happy. Thank you so much. And, um, uh, yeah, maybe the next milestone will be 5,000 subscribers. I don't know yet what to do. I'll have to think of something. So thank you again for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.